have an old Stadia Bluetooth controller lying around that doesn't work in Bluetooth? Don't throw it away, right after this. Google is actually shutting down the Stadia website where you are able to change your controller from wireless Stadia mode to Bluetooth so that you can use it with pretty much any device that's out there. And to do so, you have to head on over to this website. All the links will be provided in the description and follow the instructions that we're clicking on and completing to get this done. Once you've gone to stadia.google slash controller.com, it asks you, are you sure you wanna to switch to Bluetooth mode? Cause it will be a one way change. You cannot switch it back. So what you'll have to do is you'll plug in your controller, allow Chrome to verify your controller and move on through the steps. So this is exactly what we're doing. We selected the controller, hit connect, and it is actually connecting to it. So there's a couple of steps you have to follow. You'll have to unplug the controller, hold down a set of keys as instructed on the screen and plug it back in to put it into a different mode that'll allow you to do all the updates and switch it over to Bluetooth. So once we've done that, we've plugged it right back in and we're ready to go on to the next step. And once you've done that, you'll have to go through the download Bluetooth mode update procedure. Click on that, keep going next. There we go. Install Bluetooth mode once all of that is done. So it does take some time. It's gonna download this, update it, install it. Going through all of these steps is fairly easy and straightforward as all the instructions are provided on that website and you'll have full control of your controller. We've used it for many things. We've actually used it for playing xCloud games on Game Pass Ultimate on a mobile device with this controller paired to it. And we've also used it with the Meta Quest 3. We like using it with the Meta Quest 3 as the colors match. It looks like it was made for it, even though it wasn't. And there you go, done. Hopefully this has made it a lot easier for you to be able to convert your controller to Bluetooth mode and use it wherever you want rather than leaving it in your drawer or even throwing it out. That's it for this one. Take care. See you all in the next one.